If you're anything like me, the idea of running around Pripyat with a ghillie suit and a bolt action lives rent-free in your head. And in today's adventure we are going to find out if it's actually possible to survive that way. To achieve this, however, we are going to need a ghillie wrapped bolt action. And I have a good one. The only problem is it's on the other side of town. And on this city, just getting there is not an easy feat. So welcome to the outskirts. So there's not one, but two bloodsuckers here. Wow. But yeah, the tower shouldn't be too far off now. We just need to get through the hospital and it's on the other side of it. So it shouldn't be too bad and there's a blind coming right at me, what the hell? I mean, the weapon is completely messed up, not a problem, but, um, yeah, I feel a lot better now that I killed him. And there's one more coming in. A lot of zombies here today. Hmm, interesting. So, that is the hospital. Actually, it's the main lobby. Usually, there's UniSG. But, yeah, it seems clear. Actually, I was kind of wrong. There is uni SG guys in here, but they're all dead. Three of them, to be exact, so... I don't know if the zombies are embedded with the monolith or if there's just too many of them. But we should, you know, pay attention. Hmm. Okay, one of them. Actually, there is two of them. Two zombies. One of them was monolith, so that monolith and... There's three zombies, actually. What the hell? Okay. That was a dead ecologist. Those always look really good. But I can't seem to find the, uh, the last one, though. I think he was somewhere around this direction. I think he's right here somewhere maybe not mm, no there he is see he shot four times while I took one shot the good thing is that they're not very accurate because if they were game over I really like this part of the map I mean the outskirts is my favorite zone in the game just because I love the feeling of the city and also because it reminds me so much of my childhood. Getting here was always like the hardest part because of all the snorks and everything. But what I really like about it is that with the new mod you can pretty much get on top of most buildings and even the hospital one included. It is very hard, it is not easy, it's gonna take you a couple of tries but it's doable. And I'd as well show you. So let's say you are in a in a place you don't really trust because of all of the mutants and you wanna have a meal. You just do this and there we go. Very simple, again, I really, really like this mod. Has to be one of the best mods that came out and it's funny because it is something you don't even think you need until you have it. All of this to say that Demonize is an actual god and there's a guy coming in. Not really an issue though. But yeah, that is the building we have to climb. So it should be interesting. Or not. Imagine playing um, Iron Man mode and climbing this knowing that a fall step can kill you. Again, not something I'd usually do, but who knows. Maybe I'll give it a try one day. So 
So this tank shoots 338 Lapua Magnum, which in this game means pretty much a one-shot kill even if they're wearing an exoskeleton. Now it's not gonna be a one-shot to most zombies just because usually they get back up, which is kinda annoying. Um, but yeah, it's a really good weapon, we got the ghillie suit and now we can actually start our adventure and that won't begin until we kill this high value target. <coughs> so the guy I'm looking for is actually a ghillie suit sniper as well. And he's monolith. Now the interesting part I was not foreshadowing was gunshots coming in from the hospital. The one where we just came back from. And a lot of zombies involved. So let's go check it out. Yeah, we were just here a minute ago. So maybe it is Uni SG and some of the guys came back. Could be it. Okay, so that's one. I'm not too sure if there's anyone else there. Because there were three dead guys outside, so usually, I think there's usually like four of them in here. No, no, there's one guy coming back. I'm guessing there's another body there. He was checking a body, we just completely railed him. Nice. So they were shooting a lot more than I expected. Look at the amount of zombies they took out. Crazy. Anyways, we are gonna go and kill the guy I've been talking about. So there is this one monolith soldier. He has a ghillie suit as well. So high value target. Should be really high ranking as well. And we have to go there and shoot him. After that, that's where things get really interesting, because after that we need to go all the way to Limansk, which means going through the Red Forest. So that's gonna be a challenge on its own, especially with this ghillie suit. But yeah, that is the building I'm gonna use to deliver the fatal shot, and once I do that we can get out of here. Okay, let me see if I can see him. Well, I don't see anything. Hmm. Let me go up. Okay. I do see him now. And I was here wondering... Man, what a beautiful day it is. To commit murder. Especially from all the way over here. Okay, so my plan is actually pretty simple. The last thing I want to do is to find myself stuck in the middle of the forest with the enemies shooting me and not being able to spot them. So I was thinking if I just stay here for a little bit I can do two things at once. I can shoot off bad guys while they come in and I can let the game simply play itself out and hopefully all the mutants roaming around will eventually die, because that's my biggest fear. I can fight against NPCs, but mutants are much harder for me right now. So yeah, we're gonna be camping hard. Well, never mind about that, I was expecting a lot of people to come in, but I've been here for like 10 minutes now, and nothing is going on, so I might as well eat something. It's funny because usually this part of the map is the most busy, there's always someone going through, there's always a monolith squad or a mercenary squad, something. But nothing, um, so I don't know, I think we just might have to go there. Which is, uh, let's just say I am not looking forward to it. So I might as well smoke one of these, right, it protects against radiation, so they say. What bad can it do? Right. Yeah, I really do not like this part of the game. 
and the rain too, it hasn't stopped yet. It's crazy how much it has been raining. Oh well. It adds to the atmosphere, that's for sure. Look at the amount of bodies though, one, two, three, four. And these were already here before I even came here. So that could explain it. Well, there's one guy coming in. Hmm. Four zombies coming in. Well, I am glad something is coming in. At least it's zombies. I think I can dispatch them without an issue. This pistol, by the way, it's really good. As you can see. Oh, come on. He's dead. Yeah. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, there's more people coming in. More zombies. Oh crap, that's monolith. There's one. I heard one. There's one, there's someone right here. Hmm. I guess the zombie speaks monolith now. Anyways, where are those guys though? There's one there. I have no idea what they're doing. Okay, so that's one. That's two. These guys are careless. What the hell? I mean, the ghillie suit might just be a piece of paper, but in this situation, it actually works. So, I'm actually really glad about this encounter. Anyways, um, time to do it. So, let's do it. One thing I hate about the Red Forest is that it is so dark. Um, I mean, some places there's light and it's nice, but most of it is just darkness and so many anomalies that, I mean, my FPS is tank all the time. But luckily though, I think the plan worked because there's no one here. We are completely alone. Besides that guy, I have no idea what faction that is. Let me see. Oh. He's a buddy. We're good. Hmm. Interesting that the... Um, it seems that the... The bridge to Limansk is... Completely empty. So we're gonna take advantage of that and get a hell out of here. Tomorrow though... We're gonna be in Limansk, so that's gonna be a problem of its own. So wish me luck. So I hate to be this guy, but I only have so many mad kids. So sorry. But not really. You're just an NPC. So it's kind of eerie how this city, which is usually full of people, is, up until now, completely empty. So that only means, you know, bad things are coming. Yeah. Starting with this checkpoint. That's one. There's usually quite a bunch of them in here. I don't know if it's the ghillie, but they are not seeing me. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh. There's one there. Damn it. 
that guy got me a little bit. The uh, thing about the ghillie suit is that you really only need a couple of shots to die. It is not very protective. We're somehow alive though, which is good. But I'm not really particularly interested in checking out that building. What do we have to? Okay, I completely whiffed that. I thought he was dead because usually three shots with his handgun is more than enough. But I guess not. Damn. And there's one more inside too. Misclick. Okay. We are using AP. Okay, so four to five shots as usually what it takes then. Man. That that noise is grueling. The way he just chokes up on his own blood. Pretty cool actually. I mean I like it, but yeah. Okay, anyways, we need to get to that house. You're gonna see, you're gonna see later why, but it might be more uneventful than you think. Hmm. Nobody coming out yet. I guess the ghillie suit. Nope, never mind. The ghillie suit doesn't work. Well, I mean. They came to where I was, but they didn't really shot me, so maybe it does work a bit. I mean, the, the gun is a real king. If you guys don't have this mod, it's from the uh, new BAS update. I'm not too sure if Gamma has it, but it is a really good weapon. The ammo is a little bit hard to get. Um, other than that, super worth it. I mean, looks the part too. Although, that is a different mod. Anyways, I'm gonna leave them both in the description. I think we're good to go though. Well, now we should be good to go. So all of that work, all of that time, all of the kills that led me to this place, were only for one reason. And it's this little box. So I guess I'll see you guys in part two.